23 ABC News at 5 starts now. Good evening. Private ambulance companies are changing the way they answer emergency calls, and it could impact who shows up when you need help. 23 ABC's Tori Cooper spoke with Kern County Public Health tonight, who regulates emergency medical services and joins us now live from Central Bakersfield with more details. Tori. Tim and Jessica, tonight Kern County Public Health officials are saying that as of November 15th, private sector ambulance companies can now send basic life support units to scenes that warrant advanced life support assistance. Now, as of earlier today, public health officials did confirm with 23 ABC News that this change did come in come on November 15th in an effort to get a get help to a patient as quickly as possible, but has no effect on the response times that are recorded. They say a provider can send a basic life support unit to scene to a scene that is categorized as life threatening, time sensitive or urgent per hospital 3% of the time based off the total calls they get. Otherwise, they are out of compliance. Today, Mark Corum from Hall Ambulance said a basic life support unit is staffed by two emergency medical technicians who can cannot intubate or inject medication, whereas an advanced life support unit is staffed with a paramedic who has higher level training and an EMT. And public health says the change in protocol is to get patients quicker medical assistance. Number one goal is to assure the community that we are trying to provide the best and quickest service to our residents when they need it the most. So if a call comes in and a BLS, which is a basic life support ambulance, is in closer proximity to an ALS, which is advanced life support, that BLS will absolutely be deployed because they're, it's going to be a faster response time to the patient. Corson says this has nothing to do with Proposition 11 that will require emergency workers to stay on call during paid breaks. Corson also says that even if a basic life support unit shows up, an advanced life support unit that is warranted will still head to the scene as quickly as possible. Corson also said that response times are only recorded on when an advanced life support unit shows up. Now, Hall Ambulance, who would not do an on-camera interview with 23 ABC News earlier today, told 23 ABC that they are complying with the county's new protocol, but they did not provide a response to the new changes. We also reached out to Liberty Ambulance and have not heard back as of news time.